Michael had some shortness of breath, no other symptoms of anything else. Um, and it was later in the evening he had, had actually gone to his martial arts class. And we realized that this was something that needed some medical attention. So it was a decision my husband and I made. He decided to take Michael here. It was closer um, than going to the main hospital in Norwich from where we live in Canterbury. After about an hour went by, I texted my husband. I said, so what's the story? And he said, he texted me back saying, they're deciding right now if where they're going to send him, whether it's going to be a uh, life flight to Connecticut uh, Children's Medical Center or Hasbro. When I came here, I was, I was in a panic. I didn't really know what was going on um, and what was causing this with him. We went in the ambulance together, my husband followed. Um, we got to Hasbro and they pulled him right in, started just working on him and I just remember the look on his face of absolute panic. Like what are they doing to me and looking at me like, and luckily uh, the pediatric cardiologist was there. He told me that this was uh, an acute case of myocarditis which is an inflammation of the heart muscles. Um, and I just remember at that point him telling me that he might not make it. Um, and when, as a parent, you just never think that that's going to happen. Nice to see you. Hi there. Hi. How are you doing? Oh, good. Wow, you get you look a little bigger since I last saw you. <laughs> Uh, how are you feeling? Good? Now, do you do, how long did it take you to recover? That was one of the things that I was really kind of curious about. Two weeks? Two weeks? That was it? Yeah, I'm really glad that we were able to, to, to help you out like that. I would say um, it, was a, it was a great test of our, um, of our ability up there. We had, uh, we had some we had a lot of seasoned nurses uh, up there taking care of you, and um, you know that's what we're that's what we're set up for. So it was, uh, you know, it was great to be able to great to be able to do that, and then to have such a great outcome too. Yeah, very thankful. This facility is here for our community. Um, it's closer than going to the main hospital. Um, the care we received here was, you know, they knew what to do. They knew where he had to go. Dr. Siegel knew where he had to go. Um, to get the appropriate treatment um, where we feel very lucky and fortunate to have this facility here for us in a, especially in a case like this where he needed immediate treatment because it is um, myocarditis is a fatal condition.